Okay, today now also we're excited about new payment systems. Um, we don't use uh, cash very much anymore. Um, the younger you are, the more likely that you are to be using a social media app like Venmo to pay, even though your friends can see what you're buying. It seems to be kind of uh, what people do. Um, and then um, we also have uh, uh, interesting challenges to large-scale payment systems now, um, uh, Bitcoin being uh, uh, one of them. So. <clears throat> um, the payment system in Mesopotamia was all an accounting system. They didn't have coins. So all of those records I was showing you, they may have used silver as a, as a unit of account, but by and large, everybody w w had some account or ledger that they were running with, uh, with each other. Um, and, and part of that was because um, you know, it, was, it, was, it was a city-based organizational uh, structure where you kind of knew who was coming in and out of your city and how long they would be there. Um, but you want your payment system to be convenient, um, secure, accepted, and you don't want uh, there to be the possibility of inflation. So I put limited there. Uh, that's why Bitcoin has this feature of only so many Bitcoins being made, and then everybody keeps losing them, so that even makes them more valuable. Um, the really innovative payment system uh, of the uh, 7th century, borderline 6th century uh, uh, BC, was coinage. So we always think, well, the invention of money must be coins. Money was invented before coins. Coins just became a very convenient way when there was a bunch of, when there was trade in the, in the Mediterranean. You didn't know whether the person, you could run an account with a sailor who might have come from, uh, from Athens uh, three, uh, year, three months ago. Um, you would use these coins. You know, you'd ch you'd, the people would uh, get coins when they entered your port. They used the coins um, to buy things, and then uh, you didn't care whether you ever saw them again. So um, uh, Athens itself had the for good fortune of being located right near one of the, the, most, the largest silver mines in the Mediterranean. A lot of the Athenian uh, wealth came from that access to silver that then became the coin of the, uh, the, the, a, a widespread uh, unit of currency. So, that, uh, so much so that the Athenians um, um, uh, were in the good position of saying, well, um, we can make goods come to our, we can get grain shipped to us and all we give them back are these little pieces of silver and then they trade amongst themselves with this. <clears throat> There's a lot more going on uh, in the book about uh, ancient Athens and the relationship to the development of democracy. I get very excited about it, but, but, but the payment system alone made it uh, really an innovative um, feature. So here's another document. Uh, it, uh, the book also looks at the Chinese side of things, uh, the financial innovations in China and how that related to the Chinese state. But China invented paper money. Uh, this is a document that dates to the Ming Dynasty, early Ming Dynasty. So for those of you that read Chinese, this is a, a Da Ming. And it says, the great Ming universally circulating treasury note. And this is the sign for money. And this is a, an amazing technology. Um, the, in order to print the money in China, and, and it, the printing began about 1100 AD. Um, they had to invent a process that, um, that the bills, you could print thousands and thousands of bills and have them all look exactly alike. They invented a copper plate engraving. Uh, so the woodblock engraving wasn't good enough. They had to have a copper plate in order to print these things. And then they put, you can see as a technology to prevent counterfeiting, they filled it full of all of these decorative uh, borders um, in order to make it something that people would recognize, that people that were illiterate, that couldn't read, they had to put a picture of how many strings of coins that you, this was good for. Um, and then they had an anti-counterfeiting feature built right into this thing. Uh, quite, uh, quite innovative. Um, this message is a long message. It basically said, <clears throat> anybody caught counterfeiting will be killed. Anybody who, who turns in a counterfeiter will get a reward. So, 
Um, so the docu it's a contract right there that is uh, sort of self-reinforcing. <laughs>